so sad. I'm leaving. I'm graduating. Oh. Oh. Happy graduation day, everybody, all the graduates. Uh, it's so nice to be able to uh, honor them and remember 38 years ago when I graduated from Hayden High School. That's what this picture was that Chrissy had up there in front with me and my mama. Uh, so, yeah, we were blue. Well, we weren't blue and gold. That was I was president of National Honor Society. Wow. Thank you very much. Smarty. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, so our colors back at Hayden when I was there was blue and blue and white, centennial blue and white. And then after I left, they changed the school colors for different reasons. Uh, so now they're more like Notre Dame, blue and gold, kind of like what we have here at Corpus Christi. These are our school colors. So last week we had our graduation. I think the girls were the gold, right? Yeah, the boys and, wore blue. And the blue. I so I'm see I'm respecting all sexes. So blue and gold. There you go. Nice. And that's the name of our PTO is the blue and gold mm -hmm. group and everything too. So. You know, I, I was trying to look up some history about graduation apparel and uh, things that are working into my homily for this weekend where we're going to honor the graduates. So at all three of our masses this weekend, we'll have a special blessing for graduates. And so I was looking up the traditions about all these different things. And, uh, you know, with so many traditions, if you look up things, a lot of times we think that there's these huge, great meanings as to why things happen. But usually it's real practical stuff. So like the cap and the gown goes back to the Middle Ages where in most of the halls where they would have the graduations and things like that, it would be very cold because there wasn't heat and air conditioning. So it was a way to keep the graduates warm. And that's one main reason why they developed the gowns. Um, and something else, and Chrissy mentioned this too, and it's true that um, one of the things is that they wanted all the graduates to be wearing the same things as a way to basically equalize everybody, you know? So it wasn't a way to allow um, the rich to be in their fancy garb and the not so rich to be in their poor garb, but just make everybody equal because they're all graduating, right? So they've all uh, earned that same recognition. Um, and uh, uh, of course, nowadays we seem to honor people and give awards out a lot more. And some, sometimes people are too too focused on that, but there's, there's worth, worth to that as well. I was uh, at Hayden graduation on Sunday. I was sitting next to my classmate, Father Tim Abercorn. We both graduated from Hayden the same year. And uh, I was reminding him, uh, which I think they still do it because uh, the state of Kansas gives the top 10% of every class up. It's called the Pusit Scholarship, I believe. See, I remember because I'm bitter about it still. Um, because so uh, there was 132 graduates in my class from uh -huh. Hayden. Top 10% would be how many, Christy? 10% would be 13. 13. And so guess what my rank was? 14. I was 14. But you were the president of the National Honor Society? Well, yeah, but I didn't get straight A's. Wow. National Arts Society is not just about grades. It's about Oh, I know. Respect I know. I wasn't a member. I dignity. <laughs> <laughs> I was what, not a member. What clubs? So, I don't know. <laughs> what yeah. clubs were you? Were you a part? I was in like music, theater. Uh huh. I was a thespian. So was I. Troop yeah. eight eight eight. Uh -huh. Shawnee Mission Arts class. Well, there you go. Cougar ball. Cougars? You were cougars. 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 And we were the Wildcats. So yeah. We would have eaten you up. I guess. Right? Anyway, so uh, a lot of traditions with graduation that are, that are good. Uh, you know, that's one of the things that last week I talked about, uh, avoiding the extremes. Uh, traditions are good, but it's, I always encourage people to make sure you understand what the traditions are for. Like for an example, when I meet with engaged couples, we talk about different traditions. There's a lot of traditions associated with weddings. A lot of times people will do them just because and they don't know why. So like I will always, um, sometimes I, surprises you, Chrissy, but sometimes I like to play the devil's advocate maybe. No. I know. So. Shock. Push those buttons. Uh, so like if uh, the bride is talking about the procession and we talk about different options for that and she'll say, well, I want my dad to walk me down the aisle. And I say, well, why? And she'll say, well, because that's what people do. And I'll say, do you know the history of that? And a lot of times they don't. And I said, well, that goes back to the days of the dowry mm -hmm. where your dad would walk you down and he would have, he would pay your husband. He would give him money to, to take you. So do you, do you really want that, <laughs> that you are property? You know, so uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But, and wasn't um, the, weren't the groomsmen so that the, mm -hmm. the groom, like the wedding party was so you didn't leave? Because a lot of marriages oh, yeah. you didn't, right? You, they were arranged, and so yep. they were the ones that helped make sure you didn't leave before the wedding. Yeah, and that's why if a guy and a girl walks down the aisle together, the man would always be on the right because it goes back to the days of chivalry. Right. Because his sword would be on the right side, or his gun, but he so he'd be able to pull pull the sword right. to protect people, you know, and pre prevent them from leaving. So 
all those traditions. That's why, anyway, roundabout way of saying uh, traditions are good, um, but gain some knowledge, find out what, the, what they're all about, it kind of helps. Even like the graduation hat, these have changed a lot over the years. Um, this is more common uh, really in the United States, and this has been really recent, maybe in the last hundred years of the mortarboard type of thing with the tassels. Um, a lot of times people don't know what the tassels, I even looked this up, you know, you at the end of the graduation ceremony, somebody will usually say, switch your tassels to the other side. That is technically only for like anybody, specifically it's be for high school, um, uh, grad or, and then college. After college for like master's degrees, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, they wear those smushy hats. Yeah, they have the different kind of hats. And part of that is once you've graduated from college, you've kind of reached the pinnacle of graduations. Uh, all the extra is extra fluff, you know. So uh, anyway, like I have a master's degree, so I would wear one of those fluffy hats maybe. Ooh. Uh, but I would have those different stoles. Our colors were weird. They were like burgundy and I don't know, I don't care, but I would never do that. Never have. So anyway, graduations are, are a great time for people to honor our graduates, you know, and to uh, hopefully like for all of us to reflect on what our graduations were about, um, the meaning behind that. And, um, you know, really it's just a time to be thankful, you know, for the blessings that God's given to us and uh, the blessings of our intellect. That's one of the great things that God's given us, the ability to reason. I wish more people would use that these days rather than just um, react to emotions and things like that. Um, unfortunately, people are caught up in that. You know, so one of the things this week, we've heard a lot of more tragic situations that have happened in our country with uh, the, the mass shooting in Brooklyn. I just, that's just craziness. Um, very much racially focused. And it's just, there's no place for that, of course. It just doesn't make sense. And the church shooting in California and uh, even here in Lawrence last night, there was shooting again. Just we don't know the situation, but um, you know, again, sometimes we react to our emotions, and that's it's a, it's a, we're very emotional people. But sometimes that's where we're we're missing the logic here. We need to think first um, before we act. Uh, same thing with social media. <laughs> times <laughs> people need to remember that. Uh, think first. Uh, so anyway, this weekend we're honoring our graduates here, and we know there's been a lot of graduations in the last several weeks and probably some more to come. Uh, so to all of our graduates, we wish you the best, of course, and uh, like I told our graduates last week here at Corpus, you know, the main thing I'm concerned about and we're concerned about here at Corpus is not so much your academics, although that we're very well, we're good about that, uh, but how you come to know God in your life uh, and the importance of family and faith and uh, all those things. So that's always my... That's my concern because I'm the pastor. Uh -huh. We let our principal and staff work more on those other things. So, uh, but anyway, it's, it's a great, great time to honor all of our graduates. There's Cuckoo. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much it for this week. You know, summer's coming up, everybody. So make sure you're attentive to uh, our schedules. Nothing really is going to change. Our, our mass schedule, liturgy schedule is the same. For the most part, there'll be a few little changes like the first Friday's Holy Hour. We're not going to do that in June or July. Um, our office hours change the first Friday of June, mm -hmm. so we're just we're not open on Fridays here for uh, June the, or July. For June or July, uh, but the rest of the the weekly schedule will be the same for the parish. School office hours will be different, so if you're concerned about school issues, uh, contact them or find nine out on the website. Nine to two Monday through Thursday. Nine to two Monday through Thursday. Mm -hmm. All the whole summer, or just June, June and July. July. June and July yep. as well. So, so Fridays we are. <clears throat> Nobody home. Nobody home in either place. Either place. It's going to be locked up. Lots of fun things coming this summer, though. Oh, yeah. Yes. Somebody's 30th anniversary. Yeah, they're coming up quickly, too. Mm -hmm. So That's the, the 11th and 12th 11th weekend. 11th and 12th is my celebration of 30 years as a priest. 18th. So it's a good time to celebrate priesthood. Yeah. 18th and 19th, feast, our feast day, Feast of Corpus Christi. We're having the picnic on the 18th. Yes. Lots of fun there. Lots of activities and different things. Lots Thunder of people Thundercats will be playing. And have live music, 80s Woo! music. Boom. Celebrate my graduation. Heck yeah. <laughs> From the 80s. And Wear your members only jackets. Boom. Oh, I don't have that anymore. It's one thing Wing I Wing find have. one. Don't worry. My junior prom, I wore that. I have a picture of that. No, <laughs> you didn't. I do. I went with Anita Meyer. I have black... <laughs> I do have a picture of it. I can show you. <laughs> sure you I'll show do. you after the video. Uh, I have my black members only jacket on and a gray shoe with a, a shirt with a gray bow tie and 
some funky pants. Oh, uh, parachute pants, probably. Well, they're probably close to <laughs> did it. Did you wear a glove like Michael Jackson? No. Okay. Oh, no. Then we're okay. And I didn't put my glove on my lower region either. <laughs> so, uh, uh, like he used to always do. <laughs> so, uh, oh, the other thing about our anniversary weekend, uh, June, what is that date? 18th. Oh, our celebrate, our. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anniversary the, parish. The parish. Well, it's our feast day. Yeah. Yeah. The 18th and 19th. 19th. So on the 19th, we're going to have a Eucharistic procession yes. after the uh, 10 o'clock Mass. So at 11 o'clock, we'll process with the Blessed Sacrament, the Monstrance, uh, all around our campus. We're working on that. We have a meeting actually here today to plan that. Uh, it's a great tradition that the Catholic Church has done for centuries, uh, just taking Jesus, the Eucharist, out into the world, you know, and letting the world know that we're... Where uh, Jesus is our guy, so he leads us. And anyway, so uh, those are the kind of things that you just need to be attentive to. So make sure you read the bulletin. Uh, another thing, too, is we send out an email every Friday. And I found out recently a lot of people aren't getting that. So um, you might want to always check your spam, your browser, to make sure it's not going into spam because it's a big bulk email. Or you might let the office know, update your email. Because a lot of times, um, if you joined here six years ago and you change your email, we might not know that. So we'd love to give you the information. Uh, so I think that's it for this week. Again, everybody, as, as always, if you need anything, contact us here at Corpus Christi. Uh, call the parish office uh, or look in the bulletin, which is on our webpage, um, or just look on our website. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, all the memories. So... Uh, Happy graduation day, everybody. Enjoy your rest of your week. God bless.